Located in the heart of Spain, Segovia is renowned for its well-preserved Roman aqueduct, dating back to the first century AD. The city is also home to an array of architecture from the Middle Ages to the Renaissance period. And what better way to see it than through the eyes of an architect? I'll take you on a tour of Segovia's rich architectural history and unique design elements, and we'll even touch on the cuisine, because no travel destination is complete without food. I spent a day in Segovia in April of 2022 during a week-long stay in Madrid. The city is just a quick 30-minute train ride from Madrid, making it incredibly accessible for a day trip. Segovia also has an impressive amount of spectacular architecture, all contained in an area that's just one-fourth the size of Madrid, so I would highly recommend making this trip. The first monument you'll see when arriving in Segovia is the aqueduct. It's a remarkable feat of ancient Roman engineering. It was built in the first century AD to transport water from the nearby mountains to the city of Segovia. The water source of the aqueduct was the Frio River, located in the mountains outside the city. The aqueduct was designed to carry water over a distance of nearly 10 miles using only the force of gravity. The water travels a majority of the distance underground, but eventually crosses a 100-foot deep valley, which is where you'll see the double-stacked arch bridge. The bridge consists of 167 total arches. The aqueduct is made up of over 24,000 granite blocks, or ashlars, all held together without mortar. The blocks were quarried from the nearby mountains and transported to the construction site using primitive tools and techniques. It remained in use for nearly 1,800 years until the 19th century when it was replaced by a modern water supply system. Today, the aqueduct of Segovia is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is visited by millions of tourists every year. If you follow the aqueduct bridge half a mile through town, you can see the arches gradually getting smaller and smaller until you reach the start of the aqueduct, the location where the water moves from above ground to underground. A Romanesque Catholic church dating back to the 11th century, the Church of San Mian is made up of four apses, three of which were original to the church. One of the most striking features is the interior wooden underside of the roof above. Home to the Segovia School of Art and built in the late 15th century, the House of Peaks contains 617 granite peaks on the facade and is located in the city center. The Segovia Cathedral is a magnificent example of Gothic architecture dating back to the 16th century, located in Plaza Mayor. The cathedral has a Latin cross floor plan with three naves. The exterior of the cathedral features a combination of intricate stonework, decorative sculptures, and pointed arches. One of the most notable features on the exterior is the 88 meter high bell tower, which is one of the tallest in Spain. The current spire atop the bell tower was erected in the 17th century after the original mahogany spire was destroyed in a fire. The interior of the cathedral is equally impressive with a variety of ornate chapels, altarpieces, and frescoes. The choir stalls, located in the central nave are considered to be some of the finest examples of Renaissance wood carving in Spain. The cathedral also houses a museum that displays a collection of religious artifacts and art, including a 15th century Flemish altarpiece. The interior volume is absolutely massive, with a tricolored checkered floor and beautiful detailing on the ceilings. Make sure you don't miss a climb up to the bell tower. This was the coolest thing I did while in Segovia. It's an exciting experience that offers visitors stunning views of the city and surrounding countryside. The climb is not recommended for people with mobility issues or a fear of heights, as it involves climbing up a narrow spiral staircase that can be steep and challenging. The entrance to the bell tower is located at the base of the tower, and visitors need to purchase a ticket to access the climb. The ascent up the 190 steps to the top of the tower takes around 15 to 20 minutes, and there are several levels where visitors can take a break and enjoy the views. First is an audiovisual room, where you'll see a 10 minute presentation on the history of the cathedral. Next, you'll reach the bell ringer's house. Historically, the bell ringer and his family actually lived in the top of the tower since the bells had to be rung manually, and it took too much time to climb the tower. The bell ringer's food and any other necessities were delivered to him via a rope and pulley. This practice continued until as recently as 1950. As visitors climb up the spiral staircase, they'll see a series of small windows that offer glimpses of the surrounding landscape. At the top of the bell tower, you'll be rewarded with panoramic views of the city of Segovia, including the historic aqueduct, the Alcazar, and the surrounding hills and countryside. Spanish for the Gate of St. Andrew, the Puerta de San Andres is a city gate that formed part of the medieval fortifications for Segovia. It has a square tower and a polygonal tower along with an arched opening. The Alcazar de Segovia, or Segovia Castle, is a medieval fortress considered to be one of the most distinctive castles in the country due to its unique shape, which resembles the bow of a ship. The castle was built on a rocky outcrop looking over the city of Segovia, and has been used for various purposes throughout its history, including as a royal palace, a state prison, and a military academy. Today, it's a popular tourist attraction and is open to the public as a museum and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The castle has a rich history that dates back to the 12th century when it was first built as a fortified residence for the kings of Castile. Over the centuries, it underwent various expansions and renovations, with each successive ruler adding their own touches to the castle's design. 
One of the most notable features of the castle is its interior, which features a variety of ornate rooms, chapels, and courtyards. Visitors can explore the castle's many rooms and halls, including the throne room and the Hall of the Kings. There's also a museum that houses a collection of armor, weapons, and other historical artifacts. In addition to its historical and cultural significance, the Segovia Castle is also known for its stunning views of the city and the surrounding countryside. Visitors can climb up to the castle's towers and ramparts to take in the panoramic views of the landscape below and the neighboring Segovia Cathedral. Overall, the Segovia Castle is a fascinating and impressive example of medieval architecture, and it's a must-see destination for anyone visiting the city. Regardless of what lens you're looking at a city through, I think food is a crucial part. Food and drink can tell you so much about a culture, and even though I was only in Segovia for long enough to have one proper meal, it didn't disappoint. Just steps off the main tourist street was Tuma, a charming local restaurant serving up Lebanese and Syrian flavors. The atmosphere was cozy and relaxed with great views of the aqueduct. The standout dishes here were the leek soup and the tzatziki. That's all for this architect's guide to Segovia. If you like what you saw or if there's something that I missed that you think everyone needs to see, let me know in the comments. 